How to block a punch. Your main goal in any self-defense situation or any street fight is to avoid getting knocked out. The good news for you is that unlike a boxing match or an MMA match where guys know all kinds of different skills, in a street fight, nine times out of 10, you know exactly what the guy's gonna do. He's gonna take his right fist and he's gonna throw it at your face. The only thing you don't know is exactly what kind of punch it's gonna be. You don't know if it's gonna be a straight that comes right down the middle or a hook that kind of comes around the side or even a haymaker that kind of comes down. But other than that, nine times out of 10, you know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a right fist to your face. Now it's worth noting that the other 10% of the time, other things can happen. The guy might try to take you down if he's a grappler or if he's had a little bit of boxing, he might try to throw a jab with his left first. And that's worth considering. But for the most part, all you really need to worry about is that big right punch because that's the one that can knock you out. So how do you defend against it? The first thing you need to do is step back and create some space. This gives you a chance to react to a punch that's coming to you. If you're right up against a guy like this and he decides to take a swing at you, there's really no time to react. It happens too quickly. Especially because in a real fight or self-defense situation, it's chaotic, it's confusing, you're not sure what he's gonna do, maybe, the other people, maybe there are other people around, it's distracting. You won't have good reaction time. So you need to step back to at least buy yourself that extra second that you need. Now for the actual block, a lot of martial arts styles teach ways that you kind of reach out and intercept the punch before it gets to your head. But I really don't recommend that at all. Again, real fights are so fast and so messy and so unexpected that you don't have time to react with a proper formal block like that. It just won't work. And I know even from just sparring with guys that sometimes you see a punch coming and you think it's a hook, so you put your hand out like that and it ends up being a straight that comes right down the middle and hits you in the face. It's too difficult to guess, especially in a real life fight. So the block I'm gonna teach you is really an all purpose block and it just takes the guesswork out of it. All you're gonna do when someone throws a punch at your head is to cover your ear like that and then wrap the other hand and cover your face. It's all you do. So instead of trying to dodge the punch or block the punch, you're basically giving the guy the punch, but you're saying it's not gonna do any damage. And the reason I know I'm gonna protect myself is because I don't have to guess where it's gonna be and then miss. I know he's aiming for my face, so I'm gonna protect my face. So to break it down, he's throwing a right at my face. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck my chin, right? I wanna protect my jaw and the lower part of my face. I wanna raise my shoulders to kind of cradle my chin. And I'm kind of flinching, which is a natural reaction. So it should be kind of an automatic reflex for you anyway. So if someone throws a punch at me and I'm automatically kind of ducking and shrugging my shoulders to provide a little bit of protection. And what I'm adding into the, is this arm is gonna come and it's gonna cover my ear because maybe it's a hook that's gonna go, go for my temple or my ear. So I'm protecting this side with my hand, just like that, forming a nice seal. And also I've got my elbow out in front here, which is protecting my face. And then I'm gonna take the other arm and just kind of wrap it over. So again, it looks messy, it looks a little sloppy, but all I'm doing is forming a tight seal for an instant second like this. And what I'm adding on to this block to make it even more effective is I'm dropping my weight and I'm shifting forward a little bit. So the punch comes and instead of just standing straight like this, I'm dropping my weight and then I'm making that seal and I'm making it just for a second, right? I'm just kind of sinking my weight into it. So if he hits me, I'm not gonna go back like that. I'm dropping my weight so my center of gravity is lower. I'm gonna drop back so you can see what it looks like here. I'm here in a neutral position. He throws a punch, I just sink into it, just like that. What you'll find if you practice this with a partner is it's really hard to punch somebody if they simply cover their head like that. In fact, if they even started walking at you like that, you're kind of unsure what you can do to them because they're blocking their whole face, they're tucking their chin, and now they're coming at you. So when the punch comes, I'm gonna drop my body weight and I'm gonna quickly form a tight seal around my head and I'm gonna absorb the impact of that punch and then I'm gonna release. So it's gonna be a really quick and I like to breathe out when that happens too. That's all you're doing. So I'm not guessing, I'm not reaching for anything. I'm giving the guy the punch. I see him swinging, boom, all I have to do is that. And what's great about this is that it doesn't matter where the punch is coming from. If it's a haymaker, 
I'm blocking myself. If it's a hook to my ear, I'm blocking myself. If it's a straight punch right down the middle, I'm blocking myself. It's very difficult to penetrate this. Now, I wouldn't want to stay like this all day because he might figure out something else to do. But to stop that initial shot, boom, it's really good. You can do this block from either side. Now, nine times out of 10, it's going to be a right punch to your face. So it's going to come from this side over to my left. So my left is forward and I'm forming a seal that way on my left side. But if he throws it, if he throws a left at my face, I could also just reverse it and do it that way, right? I'm just covering my ear like that. So if I break it down, if it's a right coming to my head, I'm just doing that. I'm even turning a little bit out of the way. That's really all I'm doing. I'm just protecting my head. I don't want to get knocked out. And if it's coming from the left side, I do the same thing the other side. It's really simple. And that's why this block is so effective because it plays into your natural reflexes. You don't have to learn a move that's counter to what your reflexes are. If you didn't have any martial arts training at all and someone threw a punch at you, probably you would flinch in some way. You would kind of shrug and throw your hands up to block it. You're kind of doing that. You're just perfecting it. So not only are you shrugging and dropping, and dropping your chin, but you're dropping your weight and you're really forming a tight seal around your head, right? That's all you have to learn how to do. And even if there were multiple punches, right, left, right, 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 right. That's all you do. From back here, you could see multiple punches, right? It would just be this. You don't want to stay here all day absorbing punches because eventually he's going to do something and land one. But to block those first couple of shots, that's really all you need. And you notice how unlike a karate block, maybe that starts here and goes up, your arms don't have to travel very far. They should be here anyway. You should be in this defensive position against someone who's maybe trying to hit you. And from right here, it's really easy to block. Now here's a way to make that block even better. If someone throws a punch at me and all I do is kind of sink and block it and absorb it, that's fine. I'm preventing myself from getting knocked out and that's a win. And now I can retaliate with some punches of my own. But there's also a way to turn this block into an attack. So if a guy throws a punch at your face, right? He's usually opening up, making himself vulnerable. And so what you can do to take advantage of that is that when you block it, you can actually slide into him and hit him with that elbow. What that does is it takes you inside his punch. So if it's any kind of hook or any kind of haymaker, instead of standing right where you are and absorbing the full impact of that blow, you're getting inside the punch where the punch kind of goes around you. So if I were right here and a guy threw a hook or a haymaker at my head and all I did was slipped inside, that's a pretty good defense right there because the punch is actually gonna miss me or if it hits me, it won't have its full force. But that's not a complete defense by itself. I don't wanna risk going in there without any kind of blocking. But if I block and move in at the same time, now that's double protection, right? I'm blocking my head, I'm dropping my weight, which is all good, but I'm also getting inside his punch so it kind of goes around me, which can be really helpful. But the third thing it's doing is it's hitting him with this uh, elbow, maybe right in the chest, right in the face. So again, from here, I'm moving in. I'll show you from back here, right? Worst case, guy throws a punch, I just block it. That's all I do, I just block it. I drop my weight. I absorb the punch. But it's even better if I see what he's gonna do, if I can shoot in on him and stick him with that elbow, right? I'll show you on Bob. So I'll do it this way so you can see. I'm gonna reverse it, my right uh, side is forward. So if he throws this punch at me, that's what I'm doing. I'm jamming him with that elbow as I'm blocking the punch. And if we're on the other side, if he threw a right, same thing. That's all it is. If I were in a traditional stance like this and he's gonna throw that right hook at my face, the basic thing I wanna do is just block it, right? Duck and block it. But if I can step in and hit him with that elbow at the same time, now that block becomes an attack. And 
he's vulnerable when he's throwing a punch and I'm avoiding the punch and I'm hitting him at the same time with my elbow, now he doesn't know what's going on. And from there, I can follow up with an elbow or a lot of other strikes. But I'm inside. I'm inside his punches so I'm not as vulnerable. So again, just to review, this is a basic block that can work in most situations. And what makes it so great is first, that it plays into your automatic reflexes, right? It's kind of a flinching move and you protect your head. And the second is that it really doesn't matter what kind of punch he's throwing at you, whether it's a straight or a hook or a haymaker, either way, you're not guessing where it's gonna be. There's no guesswork. You're just protecting your head and say, wherever it comes from, I'm gonna absorb that blow. And then I'm gonna retaliate with counter punches. When you practice this, first take it very slowly and just get into a pattern of dropping into a block from both sides like that. You can look at yourself doing it in the mirror. You'll see if there are any big gaps. Are you completely leaving your face open? Are you forgetting to wrap your ear? Is your block too loose? If it's out here, his punch might hit your hand and then you kind of knock yourself out. You really want to form a nice tight seal. And just like when you're throwing a punch and you're loose until the very second where you hit someone and you tighten, it's the same thing. You're very loose and relaxed so that you can move quickly until that moment of impact. You just tighten for a fraction of a second and then you release. Same thing, either side. Now you may ask, well, if this block is so effective, then how come you never see it in boxing matches or MMA fights? And that's because those guys are in top shape and they're highly skilled and those sporting matches are about finesse, right? They're always attacking, they're always nimble and doing something like this is just too clumsy. Against a highly skilled opponent, they'll find a way to pick you apart. You have to always be ready to attack from every position. But in a street situation, it's very different. All you wanna do is survive that first shot or two. So you don't have to worry about using excellent movement because you're gonna have on the wrong shoes and the gravel's gonna be slippery or it might be wet. It's not an ideal situation. So all you wanna do is go with a fail-safe method of just blocking your head, dropping your weight, and if you can, moving in on your attacker. Just avoiding that knockout blow will keep you in the fight and then you can retaliate.